How are you guys? I'm perfectly fine. I definitely didn't forget how to stream or anything like that. So here we are. So, wait, why isn't it working? <laughs> There we go. So we had to go to Canada first. And uh, very importantly, I spotted something. Portugal. I'd never been on a plane for like 13 hours. So it was pretty like brutal. We had economy seats on the way there. And Nari was dying. Nari was dying. I was like hanging on barely. But we got to Japan. And then we had to take train from Narita all the way to Tokyo. Basically, like, the mascot was this guy. I don't know why. Nari was obsessed with him. Anyhow. Oh, wait, that's a video. What the f***? <laughs> that train went pretty damn fast for not being a bullet train. I felt like it did. Okay. <laughs> so, because we were so f***ed, up for like the first two days we almost only ate convenience store food because our sleep schedule was so f to be fair though it was actually good the cutlet like sandwiches are probably like my favorite thing this is not copium i know for a fact because if you saw an egg salad sandwich in america it would have like maggots or some sh probably like crawling out of it but when i was there i was like holy sh this stuff tastes so f good all right so we stayed in akibahara or God damn it. I, I'm never going to say it right. I'm just going to say Aki. The best part is my favorite anime was plastered all over the fucking place. We, of course, spam the shit out of uh, the crane games. That was like day one of like trying to reset. So this is like early morning, okay? But later in the day was our Eorzea Cafe ticket. A weed game restaurant? Yeah, well, you know. But I, I swear to God, these meat buns, the fat cat meat bun and the fat chocobo was like insane. This has like custard filling in the middle of it. And the the fat cat is like meat. It's so good. So we she got the scholar. I got the dragoon drink, of course. The dragoon one has this little like shot glass that you like pour into it. That has like an eyeball and shit into it. So you like, it's like the blood of the dragon and you pour it in. Continuing on. So we also got the, I don't remember what this one. Is this Stormblood Nari? I don't know if Nari's here. I think this is like the Stormblood drink or something like that. And then I got the Reaper drink. The other thing we got uh, was, yeah, the Mudman Curry. That's what Nari got. This is probably like one of the best things there. But this is like the Star Diver, like skewer. It wasn't bad. Like, the meat was just, I would say it's like above average, not great. And the presentation's cool. Better than Denny's? Yes, vastly better than Denny's. And then we had for dessert, we had the faux hollows. By the way, we definitely overate. We felt fucking sick after this. This is also the Crystal Tower drink. This is like a hatching tide, like Tomberry, like parfait. It's matcha, red bean, and this is a, like a hot milk tea, but it was all very good. This was pretty much at the end of our day. So it was like, early morning going to like gotcha machines and claw machines and then go to Ayers cafe and then we pass the fuck out we went into a food coma which ended up like i think this like this bottom picture is what we ate like in the middle of a night because we were like waking up at like 2 or 3 a.m and we were like starving because our we were completely just like up still from like like jet lag and stuff uh, okay so we went to the, also the pokemon store there's like three or four pokemon centers we we almost went to a second one the one that has like mewtwo out in front of it but we we had a bit of a dilemma that happened and the reason why we went to this particular pokemon store okay um i didn't know this but you need to have a pin on your credit card to do a cash advance when you want to use an atm and i didn't have that set up and i got into a bit of a issue because of this where i could not use an atm to get cash and i was struggling to figure out how to how the do i get cash because i didn't bring cash with me because i don't carry cash I have two debit cards that look exactly the same. One is expired and one is not. I grabbed the wrong one. So uh, I got by this and we almost didn't have cash. However, I had a plan. Also, I had help from Omar. We had to go to a Western Union and I had to do, do it through there. 
So the only reason we actually went to this, this particular Pokemon Center was because it was next to the Western Union. <laughs> Everything was fine and it ended up, ended up taking us to this Pokemon Center. It was still really cool because like they literally had like, they had like sh loads of Pokemon like all over the place. But then after we got back from that, we went to a cat cafe. These cats were fucking crazy. Look how he's sleeping. Look at him. So um, you walk in down here, like near the staff door, and there's like a staircase up here. And he's just fucking chilling. <laughs> and they they like basically lined all the cats up in a line and they were all eating. This is the only one that was like, this is the only one that was like misbehaving, not going the right way. We would hear in the back room, room it was like, like anytime they take a cat in there, so I don't know what they were doing, but the cat was just like screaming like it was dying in the back room. We like assumed maybe it was like a medical check or something like that, or they were like trimming their toenails or something. Surprisingly, considering how many cats there were there, it didn't smell. I would have expected it to smell like reek of cat, right? But I didn't smell anything. This is adventure time. We had to ride a train, right? It was somewhere around here. And then there was another train stop right here. And then there was like a bus that we had to take. And then there was a there was a trolley car that goes up the side of a mountain that we had to take. But like this was seamless. It was wild. Anytime we had to transfer, anytime we had to like do anything, our phone made it so damn convenient. I, I cannot make this as an understatement. Having an iPhone with the wallet app and being able to swipe your phone to get on the subway, it was vastly superior to driving a fucking car. That's all I would say. I, I, I fucking hate driving more after this. When I got back to my car, like on, on a, like yesterday, I, I seriously sat there and I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? Ugh. I, and I hate being like, oh, Japan's just superior. But like in this way, at least it is 100%. This is not some weeb sh All right, I'm going to be honest with you. We were hiking a lot here and walking a lot. And this is about nature now, okay? So we're go we had to go up a mountain in like a trolley car thing. Dude, it's so pretty up here though. Yeah, on top of the... Uh, of there obviously was like the town. You can kind of see it a little bit here. This is like some like fucking 2000 year old tree. And then there's just like this fucking random bug I took a picture of. It looked cool, okay? So we did the whole hike and then we went to the shrine up at the top. And you could see like the better view from up here. We, we could have went to an onsen up here, but I was honestly wanting to just get back to the fucking room. Rejected the hot spring episode. Yeah, we fucked up. You can that's Tokyo all over there. It's so pretty up there. Okay, so here's the video of like the actual trolley car uh going back down. I don't have one going up. I, I do have one going up, but it's not as good. Some guy was taking up like their do his dog to like get a blessing. There was like pe like people with like their ba newborn baby up there getting a blessing at the shrine and stuff. It was crazy. Okay, this is the place we watched a video for a long time ago. I had to have this after doing that hike though. This shit is so fucking good. I don't know how to explain it other than it tastes almost like curry mixed with barbecue sauce. It is so fucking good. We had this twice. Okay, next place, uh, we did go to Shibuya and like the giant intersection. I didn't really get a great picture of it though, but we did go there and we went to like an American breakfast place <laughs> and, and had it as a comparison. Like any of the sides that were like there were like substantially less hard. Like if you were getting like an American portion size, you'd have like triple or quadruple the amount of like potatoes. Uh, and then so we yeah, we don't have Yo Yogi Park in it. Like we rented bicycles and we like just rode it around in the park. And it, but it was right next to the, I think it's Meiji Jingu. It was basically this giant shrine like in the middle of the city. Like it's crazy. Like I, I, I. I'm surprised how like almost secluded it is in a way where it's like like restricted like not in like it doesn't feel like you're in the city when you're like walking around this area. Okay, so here is the big trip to Osaka. Th there is a part of it that didn't go smoothly. Let me explain. Hold on. There's a part. We boarded the wrong train. <laughs> but we got off in time.
we got on the wrong train initially. It was both of them to Osaka. We couldn't, we, we literally could not find a train at our time that was on our like labeled ticket. We were like freaking out and I couldn't, we couldn't find it. And we had to ask people for like to find it, right? And we initially got on this train because we thought this was the one because this is the one that was the closest time to ours. And when we got on, we sat in the seats that like it said and no one like they don't take your like tickets at like the de at the door right they they just let you get on and we got in the seats and the, the reserve seat and they came over to us oh wrong train wrong train <laughs> and so we like bolted off the train as quick as we could before it like left and we went over to like someone like like Sumo Sen, uh, it was like he like had to point me to like the right direction and everything like that because we we were on the wrong platform. Okay, but we figured it out. We got onto it, but the main reason we went here was because Mario. This place is insane, dude. I th I, I don't think I've ever seen a seen like a amusement park that was like so well like bayed. This is so cool. It's so cool. If you've not been to LA, LA one or like this one, like I know they're opening one in Orlando soon, but it is probably the most wild thing. Yeah, we went on an anime date to the aquarium. Oh my god. There's a fucking boat ride inside. Do you know how, like, they would never allow this in the US? I don't feel like they would ever allow, like, an amusement park ride that size getting that close to the wall inside. Like, it was crazy to see this. We didn't end up riding it. We should have. These are like my favorite ones right here. The more fish. No, there's a puffer fish. There was penguins. He was just bobbing. Oh, yeah, you have the picture of it. Video of it. He's just bobbing sitting there. He's just like, hey. This thing looks like a dinosaur. And there's piranhas. And there's capybara. I've never seen a capybara at IRL. Oh, yeah. And then we saw a dolphin show. This, like, show, they collabed with an anime. So they're all, like, dressed up in, like, like fancy outfits and sh What is it? Which one is this, Nari? Wow. The next day we were in Aki for a bit because like on Sundays in Aki, they open up the street so anyone could just walk around in. And on the same day, why did you put Dawn Trail on there? We went to the Square Enix building. Guys, clearly I went there for media tour. That was the whole entire purpose of my trip. Ha ha. Careful, you may break the NDA. Yeah, my NDA that I definitely have is Square Enix. The subway chicks. Oh, yeah. There was two girls in the subway under Square Enix. So we took the subway that was under Square Enix to get back to the beginning of like Shinjuku. And they were fucking fighting. Fighting like they were getting mad. They are screaming at each other and clawing at each other. And there was like a security guard like trying to like break them up. I was not expecting this in like below the Square Next, like headquarters. Was it Scarlet and Tifa? Might as well be. We also were like down in Shibuya. We went to uh Cat Cafe. And this is the screen that everyone takes us like this like 3D cat or like where like it looks like it's actually like some character like coming off the screen. But like I couldn't get it to look properly on my phone. Like it kept looking like this. Nikkei was on it. I think Red 13 was on it. It looked correct to IRL. Oh yeah. <laughs> we went to Aerosia Cafe a second time. Yeah, I booked when we were in Japan. Did you go at third? Uh, we got, what is it? The Amarot drink, Blue Mage drink. Uh, I don't remember what this one was. These were uh, Realm of Born, and this was the Arbert drink. The Blue Mage drink, you had this like little like thing that you had to like squirt another type of like um, liquid into it, into like the rest of the Blue Mage. I don't know what it's supposed to be. We saw Corpy it was a dessert the first time. But we were not daring enough to challenge Corpy the very first time. But Corpy was destroyed. We destroyed Corpy and his family and ate them. Legitimately, these were actually hard as hell to eat. I think they're like some type of mochi or something. They stuck together way too easily. 
and when we tried to pull them apart they wouldn't come apart and that's why it looked like this this was us struggling to like get them torn apart so we could actually eat them all right we are on now the last day we went to tokyo tower on the last day we went all the way to the top you can go just to like this part of it i think i'm like basic ticket but you had to get special tickets to go all the way to the top i'm scared of heights by the way and when we got to here i was like oh no i i was like oh no not like this not like this i can't do this i can't go all the way holding on to like the side like about to die i eventually like just got over it and i was like perfectly fine and like i could just like walk around like normal I, I got past the like fear of heights of being in this thing. Uh, we got a ton of pictures and stuff. The scary part is when you get to about the halfway point here, they have a safety mechanism. And the on the safety mechanism, it makes the elevator shake. I was like, Shit. I legitimately thought that like it, it was gonna get stuck because it was like it was shaking a lot. And then it, they just like, oh, that's just the safety mechanism. Yeah, you could see Tokyo Tower or sorry, Sky Tree from here. Um, the reason I didn't go up in Sky Tree um was because of my fair heights. So the last thing we did is there is something called Team Labs. And it, it like it has a bunch of like different environments and stuff in it that you can uh, like go through. That's really cool. We went to the borderless one. I don't know if the videos will do it justice, but we have videos. Nari was like putting up a fight with going originally too. Okay, that one is like just like the entrance when you like first walk in. It kind of like gives you like a general feel. There's like different environments. This like changes to different like petals between like like winter, water, uh, different types of like plants and shit like that throughout the whole thing. This is one of the really cool places. It's like basically like a bunch of lights with like mirrors and shit that you like walk through. It, it's kind of fuzzy, so I don't know if it'll look right through like the video. Oh, the middle one's playing. Yeah, this is like the that thing we were just in, but it's like from a different place. The mirrors make it look like it's f***ing huge. But yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's like lily pads and shit. It's lily pads with like really cool like designs over it. Yeah, the fish room is really cool. I'll get to that. It's really pretty in there and it looks a lot different when you're actually in it. It's hard to convey with like probably videos. This one's real. This one's like, uh, it's like a, there's a giant rock you can like sit on where a bunch of people are like sitting on here. And like, it looks like waterfalls and shit. Kind of like, you know, oh yeah, here's a better one of this, the lily pad things. Initially, oh, hold on. Initially when you come into this room, yeah, it does kind of look like the live stream. But you, these are like the higher ones you can see right here. You're like climbing through kind of this area. This one's really fucking cool. So there's like a bunch of like balls like going on tracks and there's tons of mirrors in this room. It looks crazy when you're there in person. Yeah, it's satisfactory. <laughs> Ethereal, some of the rooms feel that way for sure. Like this is like some of the hallways. It's they like basically have like fucking tidal waves like going throughout it. Oh my god, what did you do, Nari? Okay, so there's this room. You can make a fish and it will import the fish that you draw onto like the screen. So I made Shark Chan. Oh, this is when it drops in. Oh yeah, this is it. The laser didn't show up properly. Oh, here's more of it. It just swims around in the room with other people's, like, stuff, though. Do, it, do we have one of yours? Nari made a rainbow fish. Oh, there's Nari's! That's Nari's right there. The rainbow fish. Okay, so originally we weren't going to go to the tea house. Originally we weren't going to go to the tea house, but then Nari, we, like, begged for it. This is actually really f***ing cool. So when you move it, it breaks them, right? But... It starts growing again. You can see it grow right there, but I'm putting it back in the middle so you can see it better. It starts growing them again. And they it projects it specifically to your tea. It's really f***ing cool. And it, it, the, the smaller the liquid gets, it will still fit within that like area. Oh yeah, here's more. So these are like a like dark crystal rooms and it like it was reflecting all over the place. It looks fucking wild. 
when you're in it. And then this is like a giant like room that has like these light projectors all over the place and it goes fucking crazy. It's making a wormhole. Yeah, you can kind of see the lights all right here. There's like a ton of projectors in here making like really cool effects. Did you go to a karaoke bar? No, we didn't. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff we didn't do that we probably would do on a, another visit. Okay. Then this is that other room again with like the, the really cool looking like mirrors and balls like going across like the tracks. It just looks crazy. And that is the end of the trip. But I did get one night of walking through Akihabara.